What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to make a new light guide for the Whisper of the Worm. But I'm using all weapons that anybody from New Light would have access to. I made this before but I used to use all the brand new stuff. In this video I'm using the oldest weapons that anybody can get. So I'm using everything from year one. Sleeper Simulant, Aikilo Shotgun, and Nameless Midnight. This is going to be what I use for the majority of this mission. But once I run out of ammo I may switch over to the Polaris Lance. These are all weapons that anybody in New Light can get. I'm using armor as well that is brand new. Now, some of these things here have been upgraded just a little bit, but before I used to use things like Taken Repurposing and Taken Armaments. These are things that players who are not having access to Last Wish won't be able to use. So I wanna make sure I'm using everything from year one. Now, as I said before, this is the Whisper of the Worm. You wanna make sure you travel over to Lost Oasis, and this is over on IO. Once you have a Taken event here, once you have any public event here, you can access this mission and that will be how you can get the Whisper of the Worm Sniper. Now if you're watching this and you're having trouble guys, like I said, I've done a ton of live streams here on YouTube. I've helped well over 1,000 people. So guys, pop into those live streams, subscribe, come back, I'd love to help you guys out. And I'm getting super close to 50,000 subs. Any support there would be awesome. So now that we have this event going on here, our objective is to look for a secret boss and there could be a knight which we see right here if he's not there there could be a taken captain right down here and if he's not there under this tree is a taken colossus so our first objective now is to take these guys out we want to make sure though that we use our super and we use our grenades because we don't want to use our ammo if we can avoid it or we don't want to use our special ammo or our heavy ammo so here's our buddy let's hit him with a grenade and not blow ourselves up. Once you take this guy out, a secret portal will appear, and that's how we do this. But he can kind of run away. Ignore that, that's for the truth quest, and I've been lazy, I haven't gotten it done. So, we gotta take this guy out. He's pretty tough, though. Again, I'm gonna uh, save my shotgun ammo. Because I'm worried about ammo on this run, I wanna be really conservative here. Now, truth be told, he may drop some special bricks, but let's not chance it. Take this guy out. Once he's done, you'll notice that he dropped candy. Who cares? You will have a portal. This is how you access the mission. So let's go over here and access it. And as we're flying in, I'll go over my weapons and armor one more time. And I'll switch to my jumping boots. I do recommend using the Titan. I myself have done this so many times on Titan. That's what I feel most comfortable with. So you want to go over to the portal and enter the anomaly. That's going to start the mission. Now this is a 20 minute time limit. So that's what makes this very tough. And the jumping puzzle can be really challenging. So for that reason, I'm going to switch to different gauntlets. I'm going to throw on my jumping boots. Now, not only does this make me look ridiculous, but these lie rampants will help you out quite a bit. It makes the jumping puzzle much more manageable. So once I get down to the boss section, though, I'll switch back to my boots, wherever they were. These ones, I'll switch back to my boots and back to my Doom Fangs. I like using the Void Titan for this because if you're using Doom Fangs like I am, and if you're going to use the bottom tree of the Sentinel subclass, this will let your super last for a very, very long time. You're going to be able to get back your super energy with grenade kills and shield throws. So that's going to be great for this mission. But for the jumping puzzle, I use the Lion Rampants. And I like to use high jump. I know some people like to use burst glide and things like that. But I feel a bit more comfortable using high jump. Here we go. You know what? I'm going to use some shotgun ammo here. I don't want to use all of it. Because, quite frankly, I'm worried about having ammo come back. But... I don't want to waste too much time there. That shortcut will save you at least 30 seconds or so versus running around the entire jumping puzzle or running around the entire law sector. So now our objective is to get through this long maze. Essentially what you want to do is follow the red here in the very beginning. But this jumping puzzle is challenging. Don't feel bad if it takes you some time or a few runs to learn this jumping puzzle. And by all means, too, jump in here with the fire team and do this together. I know the first time I beat this, it was with the fire team. And in some ways, I think your experience is much more enjoyable when you do that. 
So once we're down here, we're going to keep following the red. That's going to be our signal that we're going in the right direction. On this part, you're, you're doing a 90 degree turn. On the Warlock, that jump is kind of tough, oddly enough. All right, so here we're going to make our way over to that distance in the distance. That didn't sound good, but who cares? But you got to be careful because these platforms come out from the wall. I'm just going to clip that. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. The time limit is always working against you in this mission. But it's still probably my favorite moment in this game so far. So with the Lion Rampants, you can make this long jump. If you don't have those exotics, then you're going to have to make some slightly uh, detoured routes. But Lion Rampants are the way to go for this if you have them. When you jump up here, you use that elevator to kind of catapult you. And then do a 90 degree turn. You want to go this way through this hidden area. I've noticed that for this part of the jumping puzzle, you're better off just kind of going quick. As I almost die. And I like to have the bottom tree because I can use that shield bash for a means of movement. Same thing for here. You're better off going quick. Now this long jump I'm making right here, you probably can't do that without line rampants. But if you do have those, just make that long jump. So now we're going across this way. And you'll notice that that one door is opening up and closing. More often than not, you're not going to be able to fly right through. But you can land on the ledge right outside it. Zoll's talking because he sounds cool. Okay, secret path right here. We drop down here. Now this saves you a ton of time. jumping all the way down here to this little secret door now is when business is about to pick up because we are super close to the fighting with this mission you have to beat every enemy in the room to clear the next room with the exception of the very final one where you're fighting the bosses there you only have to beat the bosses up so now that we're down here I'm gonna switch back to my other gear. If you can get down here with 16 minutes left, that's a good number to shoot for. So I'm going to go with my bad doom fangs. I want to use these, but I can't. Go with the bad doom fangs, and we got our weapons. Here we go. Cryptar, make some noise. Let's go. All right, so here I like to go to the left side first. And this guy, I like to always use a shield bash. He seems to always drop special ammo. I think every single time I've done this, he drops special. Aikido shotgun still does work. I do a lot of live streams for that too, so if you're looking to get this weapon, I know there's better options now, but this weapon still shreds things. Do not sleep on the Aikido shotgun. Pop into a live stream, guys. I'd love to see that. That was one of the first live streams I did on YouTube, was helping people get that. Come on, get out of there. All right. So take out the two guys on the left, come over here to the right, take out this dude, and now you want to jump up and take out the Vandal. Don't worry about him, he's pretty aggressive, but he falls pretty easily. So now that he's taken out, what I like to do is do some old COD zombies style and try to get these guys bunched up. Throw a grenade and die in the process, doesn't matter. But that usually takes out most of them. In this mission, it's okay to die. You want to be aggressive in this. So now that most of the thrall are taken out, that's when the other adds spawn in. And this is when you want to use your first super. With a with a good super, you can take out most of this room. If you're rocking the bottom bottom tree doom fangs. All right, so we're taking these guys out. You're better off like right there. I died before I used my super. You're better off in many ways to not die there. Sounds simple. But when you don't die there, you can use your super right as they're spawning in, and that will save you a lot of time. So here, I'm not going to try to be a hero. I'm just going to save my ammo, basically. I don't want to don't use shotgun ammo unnecessarily. Okay, so we're making good time. 
you clear that room and then you break that blight. And now we're in the next section here. That kind of sucks to use that. And right here, I can I can actually safely use those things. My finishers. That's gonna save ammo too. I don't recommend having anything like heavy ammo finisher and stuff like that. Yes, they sound great, but it's gonna cost you a lot of your super. And how I do this, I need to time my super use really, really well. Particularly in the very last room. But for me, I don't have those mods on. So I can beat guys up and save ammo. Okay, so that's cleared. This next room is definitely the most difficult room. So you gotta be careful here. This will be the first room that I start using some of my heavy ammo. I gotta use some heavy ammo to get down this guy way over there. I'm gonna try to only use one shot if I can. Nice, that's good. Okay, so now that he's down, yes, I use one shot, but from this platform, I can safely take out some of these goblins. You gotta be very systematic with how you do this. We're gonna take this dude out, retreat back here. There's a couple guys over there, and you know what? I have my super back. This is where, again, you wanna be really, really tactful with how you're using your super. So I have my super, and with that, I can clear a lot of these guys quick. But I gotta have a plan of attack, so I like to go to the right side first and work my way over here and take out these wizards. I'm gonna take these guys out too. Okay, now that he's down, actually, I should probably get down here and take out some of the void guys. The reason why you might wanna take out the void dudes is because there's a bit of match game here. And if I don't have a void weapon, like I don't, I'm gonna be using up a lot of my ammunition to take those guys down. The last thing you want to do is be using the last thing you want to do is be using your shotgun ammo against an acolyte, but in this particular case I probably have to do that. So I'm doing pretty good though. I think we're clearing in decent time. I'm gonna to have to use some ammo on these guys, which kinda of sucks, but Let's save some ammo as best we can there. All right. So now I only have these two guys left, but I gotta use some Aikilos on these guys. Aikilos is good because it will shred these guys through their shields pretty easily. Okay. 16 shots. Ideally, you wanna have like 18 or 20, but we got some ammo right there, that's good. So once you go through here, now we're getting very close to the final section. We're doing pretty good for time. But the final bosses are really, really beefy, so... Especially without using the better weapons. Sleeper's good, but they nerfed it a little bit. For our purposes, though, it should be powerful enough. Okay. So those Taken guys will spawn right behind you. Now we want to... You don't want to take these guys out. But I like taking them out for two reasons. If you're low on special ammo, like I don't have full of special ammo, I want to try to take these guys out. Along the same lines, if you do not have your super, kill these guys to get it back. This is where having a masterwork weapon comes in handy. You may not have a masterwork primary, primary like I do. I was fortunate that a year one nameless midnight was still in my vault. I hear, that'd be foolish. All right, so those guys are taken out. They didn't drop special. That's right, not a big deal. We have enough shots here. You want to have at least 20 shots, and the reason, another reason why I like that Kilo shotgun is these blights are very hard to take out without that, without a full auto shotgun, but it takes six shots to take these guys down. You still only take four. For some reason, they take more now. Kind of irritating. So, take these blights out. You got to take out at least, rip, you got to take out at least these three blights. The two in the front, and that one that I just took out right there. I'm spamming the square button to respawn because I'm worried about the time. Rip. This final fight is very tough. If you run out in the middle, you're gonna get shredded. Okay, so we took out the three blights. There are two left, and those two can become issues. 
but I'm banking on them not because if I was going if I was to go around and break break those, it'd take me at least another minute. You want to have your super for this. I highly recommend having your super ready for this particular encounter because taking out these centurions is tough. Taking out those phalanxes is tough. But with your super, you can shred them pretty easily. Okay, so now that those guys are taken out, the final bosses spawn in. The captain first, the knight second, and then the colossus third. So, sleeper's gonna do pretty good here. With sleeper, I should be able to take out this guy. And I saw that there was some special down or heavy down below. I'm gonna go down there and grab that here in just a moment. As a, as a matter of fact, I might as well do that right now. And in the process, maybe bash him here really quick and look for it. Okay, it was a hero play. We, we got it. And the shoulder bash with the Aquilos actually did a decent amount of damage. So that may allow me to save just a shot or two for the another guy. Okay, let's take out this guy though. Now on my sleeper, I do have the I do have the catalyst for it. That's from the Prestige Spire of Stars, which is a raid from year one that nobody wants to do. But it does make this weapon a lot better. It lowers the charge time significantly, as well as giving it deeper pockets. So by having linear fusion reserves and by having that, I have 13 shots on my sleeper. I think normally you'd only have like 10 or 11. Okay, so the first guy's taken down. We're making pretty good time here. But the next two dudes are beefy. And they're just as annoying as he is. So, I'm gonna shoot these like crazy. Let's keep fighting here, though. We don't want that guy to run to the very back. When he does, it's so annoying. Okay, now I am completely out of ammo right now. Completely out of uh, out of the good ammo. And if I were to do this, that may take me a long time. So I have two options here. I can I can risk it and try to get some more heavy ammo. That to me I think is an effort in futility because you don't know when it's going to drop. I'm going to switch over here to Polaris Lance. This is again this is a year one weapon, and the first time I beat this, the first time I beat this was with Polaris Lance. I switched over to it because of the perk on this. It has that cool explosion when you get five precision hits in a row and this thing will do work guys so do not slack on getting both sleeper and do not slack on getting both the Polaris Lance these are really awesome guns Aquilos got us here Polaris Lance is going to get us home so you can tell this thing's doing a lot of great work right now there are some really good weapons that year one players can get Risk Runner is awesome we know that these two weapons are good. Matter of fact, even if you didn't have Sleeper, I bet you you could probably come down here with just Polaris Lance and get this thing done. Hey, that's what I don't want to see, though. I got overconfident. He ran back to his little safe haven. You hate to see it. Okay, so let's focus on our other buddy. The Knight probably has the most health, but... He tends to be one of the easiest guys because he's he's more stationary. Sometimes I'll hide behind that little crevice thing there that I don't know. Can't think of the geological term. But yeah, you can beat this guy up a little bit easier. And we're doing great for time. The one safety blanket I have too is I will get my super back one more time. And that's gonna be my kinda my last itch hurrah. But Polaris Lance is, is doing well for us. It took down a third of his health already. Our other buddy's still hanging out back there. Not a big deal. We still got a lot of work to do on this guy. Hey, Polaris Lance is pretty awesome. Actually, I'm, as I'm playing with this more right now, I haven't used it in quite some time. But I'm quite enjoying it. Hoping maybe that would like trigger him to come fight me. Okay, we got a super back. We got four minutes left. We're actually doing pretty good. Very good, actually. This is a this is a, a nice solo run. The Cryptarch is pleased. Okay, so this guy, he's nearly down. I could go in there and super, but I think just for the 
for the sake of, of giving you guys a little bit more confidence, I'll probably hold that in my pocket and show how good Polaris Lance is doing right now. If you're wondering the best way to get this catalyst done, load into the Leviathan raid by yourself, the normal version, and you can get your perfect fifth kills done really, really easily there. Alright, so... That dude's down, and once he's down, like I said, you don't have to kill all the enemies there. Once he is down, you will get the mission complete. So anybody in your, in your fire team will get this. I know people ask that all the time. Maybe if one of the guys is in the jumping puzzle still, as long as you finish the mission, then everybody in your fire team will get the Whisper of the Worm. So there you have it. This is the New Light Player Guide. Do not sleep on weapons like Sleeper. Do not sleep on Polaris Lance. Aikido Shotgun's amazing. Again, guys, I help out people with these all the time. So subscribe, notifications, join the Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching. Best of luck. And as soon as you get any of these weapons, let me know in the comments because I want to give you guys a proper high five. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch up soon. See you guys later.